this tutorial, let's see how we can simulate soft body interactions with rigid bodies using RBD Lab tools, especially soft constraints and metal soft modules. Here's a model of Suzanne. Let's apply rotation and scale, and let's give it a subdivision surface level of 1. And let's apply. Let's tab into edit mode, and let's delete the eyes. And let's close the vertices with a face. Let's do the same thing. And let's shade smooth. Now let's uh, duplicate it. And let's duplicate it one more time. So, what we'll do is let's use the usual workflow on the first um, on the first Suzanne. Let's create a shell for the surface for the other two Suzannes. But for this one, we'll use a normal RBD Lab workflow. And for this one, let's use a remesh workflow. Let me explain in a little more detail. Let's first prepare Suzannes according to the explained workflows. For the first one, we're going to follow the RBD Lab workflow on the model as it is. On the second one, let's head to the Prepare tab of the Fracture. And under Proxy, let's add a Solidify modifier so that we can actually create a shell. Let's give it a thickness of 0 0.02. So we're giving a a thickness to the surface here and let's accept and for this one let's add remesh and let's decrease the voxel to let's say 0 0.07 looks good and let's also add solidify so we create uh, some sort of thickness for the surface. And then accept. And let's also perform smooth shading as well. And then accept. Looks good. So we have three Suzanne models. This is the original model. This one is with the surface thickness of 0.02. And this with the remesh and a surface thickness of 0 0.02. So now let's apply the usual RBD Lab workflow. Let's add a scatter. Let's add standard scatter. And let's change the density to 100 and then accept and fracture. There we go. So we have three target collections. And let's apply fracture. We can actually use auto smooth. But we can do that later in the mesh visualization options as well. All right, the fracture has been applied. So let's get to mesh visualization options and then auto smooth. And then let's go to the other one, auto smooth. And let's go to the other target collection, auto smooth. Perfect. Looks good. Now let's add rigid bodies to it. So first let's add ground and under RBD, let's click on metal soft and then add rigid bodies. Let's take the other model and let's click on metal soft and let's add rigid bodies. And then same thing for the third model as well. Let's add rigid bodies. So let's take a look. There we go. So as we can see, these are all the hollow chunks here, here, but these are solid chunks. So that's the difference in why we added Solidify to these two models compared to the first one. And when we apply soft constraints, we will also see the difference. Now let's get to the constraints. So I would like to have same parameters for all the models. So that's the reason why I'm actually selecting all the constraints and I'm creating a single constraint group. If we are interested, we can actually create 
separate constraint groups for each uh, target collection as well. But in this case, I'm actually creating a single constraint group. So under source filter as collections, type as soft, let's uncheck breakable, and let's check on between chunks and create constraint group. Let's take a look. These are the constraints that are generated, and this is a single constraint group. Now, let me change the stiffness to something like 100 for the spring angle, and then damping to something like 0.99, and the spring linear stiffness, I'm gonna give it 500 and damping of 0.99 and then click on update. Now let's take a look. And there we go. Let's change this to something like 200, update. So here we can see these two are looking a little bit different than the one with the solid chunks. So as we change, for example, let's say we decrease the stiffness even more, we can see the difference. Cool. So we can play with these constraints. So these um, parameters for each scene, uh, we can configure according to the requirement, and we can change the number of iterations, we can change the damping, we can change the stiffness. Let's say, for example, we change the damping here, and we decrease this to something like 50. Date. So we see for every parameter change, we see the difference. Either this is, the models are getting more soft or more stiff. Now let's head to the metal soft module and let's work on the first Suzanne. Now here, when we create mesh deform, for the first model, there's no proxy. So we have an original model. But for the other two, we created proxies at the beginning, right here. So this is the proxy that we created. So if we work with the proxy, since proxies have thickness, the geometries might intersect when we try to bind the original geometry to these fractured chunks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the original geometries when we are binding to the fractured chunks. So first, let's get the original geometries, which are these two, into the RBD Lab Originals collection. Now we have access to these in the mesh deform binding options. Cool. So for the Suzanne low, let's take Suzanne, and then let's say create mesh deform. There we go. And just to have a more smoother surface, let's add a subdivision surface modifier and increase the levels. There we go. And let's work on the second model and let's say other original. And we're gonna select the original Suzanne and then let's create mesh deform. And then add a subsurf modifier. Okay. And then add subdivision surface levels. And let's also work on the third one. Other original. Suzanne 002. Create mesh deform. So when we hit create mesh deform, this is going to link the original geometry to the fractured chunks. Now let's add modifier subdivision surface levels of two and update modifiers. Now let's take a look. There we go. So if you look closely, let's take a look at the difference between the first one to the other two models. So this, remember this is the one with the solid chunks and these are the ones with the hollow models or 
with the thickness to the surface, which are like shells. There we go. So these behave more like soft bodies, and this is more like uh, a little bit more stiff. There we go. So we can also go back to the constraints and we can reduce these values and then click on update and see how they work. When we use the solidify modifier and create the thickness for the surface, we have more control over how the simulation is rather than work with the solid chunks. And that's the reason I wanted to show uh, the different uh, ways of fracturing for the simulation. Now let's try and move the ground and add an interaction between the soft bodies to the ground. So for that, let's um, let's say at frame 60, we're going to add a keyframe for the location for the ground. And let's um, head to the graph editor. And for the Z location, let's add modifier and let's add a noise modifier and let's um, restrict frame range and let's start at 60 and let's say we end it at 150 and let's increase the scale and the strength. And let's blend in a little bit and blend out. There we go. And let's head to the physics tab. And let's ensure this ground is controlled by the animation system. So let's check on animated. Now let's take a look. There we go. As the ground is moving, we have an interaction to the rigid bodies. So let's um, work with the constraints a bit. And uh, these constraints seem a little low. So let's go to 100 and let's keep this at 500. And let's click on update. Let's take a look. Let's keep the strength at 2.2. And there we go. Those are beautiful rigid body, soft body interactions using RBD Lab. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you and stay tuned for more tutorials.